Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today's Gospel from Matthew, chapter 7, verse 13 and 14. Our Lord says, Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life, and those who find it are few. And so our Lord tells us that there are many who go to destruction and few that go to life, that is, eternal life. And just translating that into practical <clears throat> terms, what does it mean? It means that there are many who die in mortal sin, and that there are few who die in the state of grace, okay, and enter eternal life. Now, why does our Lord tell us this? Right. Obviously, because this information is useful to spur us on and to strive and to not get discouraged in traveling that narrow or going through that narrow gate and traveling that constricted road that we might persevere to the end and be saved. So he says that the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction. That means it's easy to go that way, right? It's easy to pass through a wide gate and to travel on a broad road. And so it's easy to fall into mortal sin and to finish our life that way. And why is that? St. Thomas Aquinas explains because that's where our fallen human nature tends. Okay? Fallen human nature tends downward and tends toward sin. And so for that reason, it's easy. In other words, if one just live his life unthinkingly and just follows where nature dictates, that's where he will go. And our Lord says, many go that way. Now, our Lord says th that the gate is narrow and constricted the road that leads to life. It's difficult to pass through a narrow gate and to travel on a constricted road. And he tells us this so that we don't get discouraged, right? When we meet up with difficulties in avoiding sin and practicing virtue so that we don't get discouraged and that we persevere. And he says that there are few who find it, again, so we don't get discouraged and say, but everybody else is doing the opposite. You know, I'm kind of the oddball in the crowd. Right? That's a good sign. And so we look around us today, missing Mass on Sunday, Third Commandment, the Catechism teaches, is a serious sin. If we do that through our own fault, then that constitutes a mortal sin. And most Catholics don't go to Mass on Sunday. But you see how the evil one has managed to change the mentality, right? The mentality out there is, I can be a good Catholic and not go to Mass. In order to save my soul, but they don't even use those terms, it's just, to go to heaven, you just have to be a good person, and certainly most people are good people. And then at funerals, priests wearing white, it is a celebration and a canonization. That's what we hear. This person is in heaven. It's all presumed, right? That's the sin of presumption, which is so common today. And so we need to come back to what does the gospel teach? What does the Son of God, truth himself, teach to us? And he says, 
that the gate is wide and the road abroad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life, and those who find it are few. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.